And now, it's time for the Thames Men. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. when Darth Vader, when he's at the Christmas tree, it's good. And uh, when when Darth Vader goes to the Christmas tree, and uh, and he pick, he picks up a present and he and he goes, oh, he goes, toaster. And he puts it back down, and uh, Luke goes, oh. And then he picks up another present. He goes, uh, he goes, uh, God of War PlayStation Five game. And he puts it down, and, and Luke is like really looking, be, you know, bejeweled and befuzzled. And then he picks up another one. He goes, oh, "It's a book. It's uh, Far from the Manning Crowd by Thomas Hardy." And uh, and Lucas, Darth, how 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 do you know what they are? He goes, mm, "I can feel your presence." <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible joke. No, I don't know where it came from. It's been in there for a long time. Hello, my name is Alex. I'm in San Francisco. Uh, I'm George. I'm in Los Angeles. And you are here at the Thamesman with our 12 days of the Christmas. And you can have that joke. You can keep it as your own joke. I'll forget it. I can't remember jokes for for a second, you know. So you can keep that one. It's it's. I can feel your presence. It's uh, that, that's all it is. <laughs> that's all it is. Um, so we are in a countdown. The countdown from the twelve to the uh, to the Christmas Eve, and we're taking the biggest bands that have ever hit our channel. Yeah, exactly. And we're going to do a new song on them, and it's been absolutely fantastic. And this is number eight. No. Oh, sorry, nine. nine. Nine ladies dance. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm excited about. I'm excited about eight actually. <laughs> well, you got to wait till tomorrow for number eight. That's made. That's made the milk. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, this is ladies dancing. Okay. Excellent. So, so this is actually. So this is as you can see from the title, the vinyls, uh, and we've only done one the vinyls track, I think, and and oh it makes God, it into the track. top twelve. So blindingly good tracks. I, I, I never even heard of the Divinals. And then this rock chick comes out with a great attitude and a killer track and a tight band. I mean, tighter than a nun's chaff. And they were just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So I think a chance to revisit, do some more Divinals. Uh, and our friend, Chris, the curator, uh, who's our Aussie expert, has come up with actually a double barrel track. For Christmas. Double barrel. Double barrel. Not only it's a double present we're giving you. Two tracks in one well, for the price of one. So uh Chris, hello Chris, happy Christmas. Um Chris the curator has picked Pleasure and Pain and Only Lie uh, uh, and Only Lonely. So it's a live track, they kind of run into one, and we thought, nah, nah, it's Christmas. Why it's in the time of giving. Exactly. Let's do we give it extra. Do two. Now I just I just thought of a terrible problem with our whole plan is that if we're aiming to finish this on christmas eve it's not going to be christmas eve in australia that's their fault <laughs> right because england invented time yeah right yeah. we all know that gmt uh, obviously that greenwich yeah. meantime and have you actually been to greenwich there is a there line is. Uh, and you can step over it yeah. and jump either side of it you've done that you can and French invented cheese. We invented uh, time, and um, so bad luck. Yeah, so tough. Yeah, but okay. So yeah, it might be your ninth day. It might be something else. Anyway, doesn't matter. If you're it's Australian. Internet time. Yeah, but if well, I don't know what number one is, it might it might not even be in the track in Australia. Mm, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, if you can like and subscribe, you can stay with us on this wonderful journey all the way up to Christmas. And obviously, we're getting very excited about Christmas. Yeah. Um, overexcited, really. I can't like, sleep. you know, can't sleep. Yeah. Can't sleep. Can't sleep. Um, advent calendars. Don't ever get one for your children. <laughs> I, we've got one, and it's in the kitchen at the moment. My 10 year old is basically going mad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a visual countdown, yep. it's just to amp up. The whole, like, you're not going to sleep on this night kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah. it? It's not only that. It's a visual countdown fueled by sugar. Is it? Because it's got, it's got chocolates in it. Well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I might go in there and just give them a life lesson and go and eat number 24. Well, you can just get a razor blade in the back and cut them all out. 
<laughs> it was a good life lesson. I leave a note in there. Santa doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, just, just eat the chocolates instead. You know, I'll do that on Christmas Eve when I've had a few oh, drinks nice. and I'll think yeah. it's funny. Like that time I put 665 in his head. <laughs> Ne- n- neighbor of the beast. <laughs> Next door neighbor. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh, all right, I'm looking forward to this. Good look there. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone can rock it, you don't Christmas look hat. like Santa. You look like one of Santa's little helpers. That's okay. As long as I'm involved. You know what I mean? Him with, really, doesn't it? Don't go there, George. Don't go there. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. I'll help Santa as much as I can in a non-biblical yeah, way. You're good in the woodwork shop, aren't you? <laughs> Chiseling and nibbling yeah, away. Exactly. Yeah. Where would you be? Where would I be? Probably in like you'd be on all fours in the, to- the foundry. That'd be what I'd be doing. Nearly, I nearly let it go there. Yeah, I think you would be. Yeah. All right. Count me in as Santa okay. said. <laughs> ho ho ho! Three, two. I was going to say he only comes once a year, and that's down the chimney. <laughs> no, please, jokes. It's getting worse. Have you been hitting the uh, Christmas sherry already, sir? <laughs> I've had a bit. I'm too excited. Oh, oh, All right, let's what, do what it. What was that stuff? Oh, god, awful stuff. Anyway, three. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Come on, we've got to move on. We're going to get the channel banned. Three. You're going to get the channel banned. Three. (laughs) You're you're going down with me in a non-biblical way. (laughs) You'll be the Thamesman. Welcome to the Thamesman. Yeah, excellent. Are you ready? Three, two, one.
so magnetic she burned so brightly she 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 really that's is a hell of a loss really man. i can see why people like you know can you imagine growing up on that on that attitude and that you know uh that just that style and her uniqueness and and you know she's a remarkably pretty lady as well but growing up on that and then you know just you know when when she passed i can see why people were so gutted by that because she was amazing yeah. And we get a lot of comments, um, you know, why don't you do, you pick the wrong track. You should have done the studio version. You've done it. Okay, that's all groovy. But we love watching. There's two reasons we like to watch bands live. Number one is that is the true performer. Yeah. You know, that is, that is, there, there are no overdubs. Her talent there shone bright. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, it was a poor recording. And yet that vocal uh, line, that her vocal delivery was fantastic and second of all if you don't uh, have something to watch then you have to look at us (laughs) now what would you rather do would you rather look at her and that amazing delivery or would you rather look at us so point proof yeah exactly i think there's no argument there really but but i do i do love to see live shows because you you get to see the sort of the time the era the people the you know even how the crowd dress or you know how it's been edited together and stuff and and it tells such a big story you know so yeah 
The band were great. The band were good and they were fantastic. It was a platform for yeah. her. You know, I know they were a true band. Yeah. I know they were a true band. Um, um, but every now and then, again, you just have someone who shines so brightly. Her, I love the tone of her voice and the attitude she gave with it. Yeah, that. it's so different, though. It's, it's, it's sort of yeah. had so many facets to it. You know, there was a harshness to it and there was a beauty to it. And there was, you know, uh, and just she she rocked that stage, you know. Yeah, and as you said, it's her attitude that comes across with yeah. it, you know, and she gets a bit gnarly on her voice and a bit gravelly and she's got the attitude and, you know, you just she just commands that whole stage. That was superb. The Divinals, were they big in the UK or the US? I think they, uh, that somewhat. I mean, I think that we, we were crap in not knowing who they were as much. I mean, obviously huge in Australia, but they did, yeah, they had success outside and, uh, you know, outside of Australia as well, but but more Australian than anywhere, but they were big as well. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that was number nine in the countdown to number one for the 12 biggest bands on our channels. And I tell you what, the Divinals absolutely earned their place. I was blown away when I saw their first track. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, and yeah, and sorry, sorry we haven't done more f- sooner. That's all I can say is, you know, it's just, you know, so many, we, I tell you what, we're saying, what would you like for Christmas? I want more time. I would like some time, please. I would love more time. I tell you, I'd love more time to do more Thamesman because obviously we're, two, you know, we're two fathers. Uh, we've got our own lives and our work and whatever. And we just do this out of fun, yeah. and that's all it is. But and I would love more time to do oh. this because it's fantastic. Yeah, it, it 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 is remarkably satisfying when you get to see something like that. And and honestly, yeah. your comments that everyone leaves, uh, you know, that is part of our payback. That's how we do it. You know. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, we're moving on to the countdown. Shh, that band was fantastic. We only did one track last year, one track, and they've come straight in and managed to secure number nine. So what is tomorrow at number eight on the countdown for oh. Christmas? Like and subscribe and follow us all the way to Christmas Eve. And Yeah, and go, go wrap your presents now. Bake your chestnuts. Come on back. Ooh. Don't want to do that. Not too early. My wife said, don't bake your chestnuts too early because, you know, you spoil Christmas. Uh, what about your Brussels? Oh, I can whip them out whenever I want. <laughs> Good. What's the bit of frost on them? Yeah. Oh, dear me. A bit of mold. All right. See you on the flip, the flip side. side.